everybody. We're back before the break. Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan shared five Minnesota women who inspire her. And now we are turning a spotlight on her. Yeah, we like to invite interesting people here to our show to share five facts about themselves. These are things that people generally don't know about them. And for the Lieutenant Governor, we're starting with a band that she's a huge fan of. A band we can both relate mm -hmm. to because I was also a huge fan. You love the new kids on the block. Who doesn't? Right? Exactly. <laughs> Tell us about your new kids on the block love. I mean, it started, right, like when I was eight or nine years old. Um, and Bop magazine. Absolutely, and, mm -hmm. right? And the, you know, Big Bop where you could take out the, Posters. you know, the poster and yes. hang it on your wall. <gasps> You have a yeah. picture with Got a chance to meet him there. Yeah, so we declared it New Kids on the Block Day in the state of Minnesota in 2019. <laughs> um, now, I, did yeah. you do that Wait, just uh, to be I... able to set up the meeting with them? Well, you know, I told the governor, I was like, I'm only going to ask for one, one of these days. And why not? You're, it's got to be New Kids on the Block. Absolutely. <laughs> so they were lovely, and they said the only other time that we had a day declared for us was uh, when Dukakis did it in, uh, in oh. Boston. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm in, in good company. But like, I love them. <laughs> you were like, can I tell people that you went on the new kids on the block cruise? You can. Okay, you good. Can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed that. I was across the room. She went on the new kids on the block cruise. You're on the cruise? Oh, yeah. I didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, it's a, it's a whole thing. But I, you know, like they call us blockheads, yeah. right? Like fans of New Kids on the Block. And at this point, at my age, you know, I don't. I'm just gonna have a, a good time. And it is one moment in my life when I am like at these concerts or at these shows where I can just turn it off for a second, You're not right? The and just be governor. like, I am 12 years old again and a screaming girl, and it is uh, a whole lot of fun. We appreciate it. you owning that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share my vulnerability with you uh, this morning. Uh, mm -hmm. Your thrifter is your next fact, which I love to hear. Yeah. So one of my favorite things, um, we've got an incredible vintage and thrift scene here in Minnesota, uh, and um, one of my favorite spots is Tandem Vintage in South Minneapolis. Um, a man Amanda Bauman there just curates uh, some of the, the best stuff. And um, I think, uh, actually not today, but usually I always will have um, an item on that is, is vintage or has been um, thrifted. People pay attention to what you wear when you're in right. these roles. Yeah. And right. so needing to make sure that you've got a, a fresh wardrobe. But it's also about sustainability. And, oh, sure. you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, we've got a lot of great, uh, we've got a really great community here. And I encourage people to check it out. I don't even think you have to go to fancy thrift stores to find goods. Now I think you can find it pretty much and any, you, as we want to show. know. Uh, you want a deep dive on this? We'll talk. <laughs> We're big thrifters. I love, I love it. That too. Yeah. Uh, you like to support local designers too, which mm -hmm. is another fabulous thing. For sure. So um, for the uh, inauguration, Delina White, uh, who has the company I am uh designed um, my inaugural dress, so you can see it there uh, in the photo, um, and. It was really important to me uh, that I was able to just, uh, there she is, demonstrate, um, you know, just who I am as an indigenous woman, and she is so great. My earrings that I'm wearing today um, are from Heartberry, and she's a, a local, local designer as well. Um, and it's part of my ability to, to use my platform to really uh, focus on these local folks. Again, we've got a great uh, vintage scene and we've got a great scene of, of local designers. Samantha Ray from Project Runway um, did my inauguration dress uh, in 2019. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. You two share this next fact uh, as, yeah. as part of your, oh, your five facts. You're both Disney adults. Yes. <laughs> you guys are going to chat away. <laughs> I just she, love it that way. She could place. not love Disney anymore. It sounds like you're the same. Yeah, absolutely. It is. Um, I mean, there you can see uh, we're, we're all in, right? Uh, and it is, I think, again, one of those places where every day you get up and you're like, what is the fun thing that I am going to do? It's really uh, a special time that, you know, my daughter and my husband and I can spend together. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. It's fun to be a kid with your kid, yeah. right? Yeah. Does everyone in your family love it as much as you? Um, my daughter does. My husband uh, is an introvert. And so uh, part of uh, his journey with our with the two of us has been uh, to find the places in Disney where you can nap. Oh, no. So, I like yeah. your husband. You uh -huh. can, can find you get a chair. Well with yep. him. He's like, Animal Kingdom's the best place to take a nap. <laughs> I, I, I would concur to that, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you and I and my daughter and, and your daughter need to go on a trip together right. and leave the husband's home. Just go, go, go. The, so the same what's, way. what's your favorite park? 
Um, my favorite park actually is Animal Kingdom. Animal and Kingdom. I think it is just like, um, it's really beautiful. The rides are fun. Um, the, you know, Kilimanjaro Safari and to see all the animals. And you can kind of just take it at a little bit more of a, a chill pace than maybe some of the, the other parks. Some of the other parks you do feel like running and gunning and getting to the rides. And, That's right. And, those, and I'm, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Which, which character from Disney do you feel like you relate to the most? Uh, well, Winnie the Pooh is my favorite, and now I'm going to tell you a, a sixth fact, which is I have one tattoo. Yeah. It's of Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so there you wow. go. Yeah, I think just the, the philosophy, you know, the way of life, the way that he can rock a red T-shirt, right, like, and crop top. No it's all good. That's right. You know, he doesn't care. It's we don't all good. know what goes That's on in your house on the weekends. <laughs> I love that your your fifth fact is the State Fair. You did, yeah. that's your happy place. You just totally. Love it. I love it. It yeah. is. It's the best of Minnesota, right? And um, I completely get when people are like, "Oh, we're overwhelmed by the the crowds," um, but it's also I think part of the the fun. Um, it's just you see people from all walks of life mm -hmm. uh, who are at the fair celebrating being Minnesotan. There's mm -hmm. something for everybody, um, and folks are like, "Oh, you have to go every day for your job," and I was like. Excuse me, I get, get to, to go get, every yeah. day uh, for my job. It really is. Um, I look forward to it every year. It's the most wonderful time of the year, not necessarily the holiday season. I think the State Fair is the best time of the year. It's it's just the best. So what's your first food item? Oh, I get? usually um, I usually go right to the Farmer's Union and get a uh, maple nitro coffee yes. um, is how I start off the day. And, you know, at some point we do mini donuts um dill pickle pizza has now become uh, a good. fave mm -hmm. it's yeah. pretty it's pretty good i love the pork chop on a stick and usually i hit the fair with andrew zimmern mm -hmm. and we'll go mm -hmm. and um try some of the the new foods together and um that's been a, a new tradition which has been really fun he's creative so he's you gotta sure. be careful with him when that's you go. right that's right <laughs> he tries the unconventional yeah, he he's like the secret is taking one bite <laughs> yes and then moving yeah. along get a taste right? and yeah lieutenant <laughs> right. governor thanks so much for taking time on your day to visit with us. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you for having me again. Thanks. Very exciting. Coming